young men in the business and by hot I mean they're really doing it and doing it out of sight. Can I persuade you to give it up for the mighty persuader? Surrendered in 1945 and World War II ended, victorious soldiers arrived home to ticker tape parades and emotional reunions with loved ones. After nearly 10 years of fighting in Vietnam, the cost of casualties proved too much for America to bear. The U.S. finally withdrew in 1973, and South Vietnam fell to the Communist North a few years later. It was America's first major defeat, and the troops bore the brunt of this loss when they returned home. Many recalled being spout upon or called in the world. Others felt ostracized as scapegoats for an unwinnable war rife with dishonorable conduct. And this led to another stark difference. In the way veterans were treated by the system after returning home. When World War II soldiers came home, the government gave the nation of generous education benefits and a monthly living stipend under the GI Bill. In contrast, Vietnam veterans often had trouble receiving enough compensation to cover their living and educational expenses. Bureaucracy, red tape, and cutbacks led many to avoid the VA altogether. It wasn't until the 1980s that America began to make things right with Vietnam veterans. I mean, they call us baby killers, they deserve it. Like I said, I was getting on the plane and spit out. That's sad. But not here in the brass hole. Christ, its hero, the sergeant who.